everyone today I am here with Tanya my good friend Tanya country country life with Tanya the um, link is in my description be sure to check her out she's gonna start our intro what we're gonna do <laughs> welcome to Marie's vlogs this is Tanya we're going to talk about our past to make you laugh for the present there Videos. you go <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, woo. That's what we're gonna do. So today we're gonna play No Filters. Shirley and I have been playing this, but these are the cards that Shirley and I have already played. So I'm gonna try to come up with different answers on certain questions. Some things I might not be able to, but certain questions I'm gonna try to come up with different answers. And um, you guys are gonna hear all of Tanya's answers and she's funny. So <laughs> she's gonna make us laugh. We have been having so much fun. She's down here in Florida. We went ghost hunting like yesterday we've we've been out to eat we've done lots of fun things i just hung out for hours and hours here with her um having such a great time so be sure to go subscribe to her we're going to start this game um shirley and i still have the other the other whole deck that we never opened to finish so her and i will finish that but tanya and i are gonna just just start this over. It's going to be cool to hear Tanya's reactions. <laughs> so, <laughs> da, da, da. let's go. You can read the first one. Okay, what, which one do I come out of mine? Yeah. Okay, because you know, I, this first time. Yeah, I, we just read them. It don't matter. What song do you secretly like that you would be embarrassed to admit? <laughs> if you like it, you better put a ring on it. <laughs> If you like it, you better put a ring on it. How'd that song go? <laughs> it's a Beyonce song. What's yours? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, I had forgot what their names was, but there was three young boys back in the Hanson. 90s. Was it the Hanson? It's got um ba um ba. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Hanson boys. Yes, that is funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't remember answering that one when we, me and Shirley did them. That's funny. Oh my. Okay, did you read the bottom half too? Oh, um. Okay. Let's see. What is your favorite summer memory? My favorite summer memory. Hmm, you can go first. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know because any summer that I'm at the lake is a good, with the kids, I, I'm in the family. I'm I'm good. Yeah, I'm good with so it. So the lake. What lake did you go to? We went to um, Santee Cooper in South Carolina. Oh, it was beautiful. Wow, yeah, it was real beautiful. Caught a lot of fish. Went swimming. Watched fireworks. The community down there is a real good, uh, nice community. They have condos on one side, the back side, and then the front of the lake. Are right there at the lake they have campers and stuff oh, and wow. um the whole community throughout the year gets up money and then they throw a big fourth of july fireworks oh, so show for mm -hmm. july. It's, it's like they they spend about five to ten thousand oh, dollars on fireworks gosh. the fireworks show was over an hour we Dang. were on the boat we were on the boat watching fireworks on your boat uh-huh oh my yeah. that would be so it was fun. so beautiful i actually made a video of it oh yeah. so, so it that's on her channel it's great. It's go great check memory. that out yes. is it already on your channel yeah it's already awesome on my, yeah all right so go check that out so my favorite some summer memories i have a lot so i would probably say camping with the kids um when i had uh, when all the kids lived with me and when i first met tyler we started going camping all the time and going fishing all the time and just doing so many fun things and i think i'll probably never forget those memories of all the good times that we had with the kids and with tyler so at hidden springs campground so that's probably my fun times okay let's see what i can pick out of here all right so it says what is the last thing you searched on google i have to look at our phone to see <laughs> oh no i oh the last thing i searched on google just today we were searching stuff, yeah. weren't we? Oh, the last thing I searched on Google, well, that wasn't Google, that was- Oh, it was um, in, in Florida, found a glass jar with water in it. Oh, yes. On the grave. Talk about that a little okay, bit. Okay, we went yesterday to, oh, what is that? A um, Arapica, Arapica Cemetery. Arapica Cemetery, really cute little cemetery. 
Um, on two of the graves that we seen, there was it looked like water. It might have been something else, another substance. Like but in it a looked, canning jar. Yeah, a, a mason jar. And it was tight, and it, it looked just like a mason jar. We it could have it could have been moonshine. I don't know. I'm not going to open it up. I, just, <laughs> I don't know and release some curse or whatever. Yeah. But I found out there could be three different things. It could have been one. It could have been just where somebody takes a drink or food out to their loved ones. That it could be something that they liked, or and then the second one was some people fill out feel water in a jar because it represents their tears of how much they miss oh. their loved ones. And I saw I never heard of that. That was very mm -hmm. sweet. And the third one could be uh, a voodoo ritual where um, somebody goes for anywhere for a couple of minutes, 30 minutes to on up for two hours to a couple of days. That wow. was weird, you know, but and to know that people will do rituals like that for a couple of hours and days. That's crazy. Where, I know. I, I shouldn't have said weird. It, it is crazy. It's, it's crazy. It is. I mean, and I guess in their religion or whatever it is yeah. they're doing, I guess it's not crazy to them. No. Some no. things it's we just do, different. Some things we it's, do is probably crazy yeah, to them. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just different. And But it was very nice to know that, to educate myself what and, and others, when y'all listen, you can go look at it, that, you know, people do that because somebody might have committed a crime uh, on their loved ones themselves, somebody they know, yeah. and they put that um, on their graves to curse them in the oh, afterlife. Wow. That is so and crazy. It is. And it could, you know, it could be anybody in their enemy, somebody they don't like, just anybody that yeah. they wanted to do that with. But it was, it was nice to know. It was nice to educate myself. Yeah. But I'm, I, me, myself, I want to believe that it was maybe, um, number two. The, yeah. Where the tears. Are, yes. So they, you know. Hopefully that's yeah. what it was. I know that you can make jars that are supposed to, like, evil spirits are supposed to go through the glass into the jar and then they're mm -hmm. stuck and they can't get back out. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. And that, that yeah. involves, I think, mm -hmm. salt and an egg or something. I can't really remember everything. But, yeah, hopefully it was her number two. <laughs> or, you know what, it could have been moonshine and we just left, you know. We didn't We didn't taste it. it or anything. Ew. But we would have sat there and been just Can you imagine it? if we opened it and smelled it and just passed out? We kept hearing stuff in the yeah, woods. We kept hearing. Somebody could have it could been, have been somebody left some moonshine there and just drank when they got there. And didn't you say there's there a red candle? There was a red candle with one of them. Yeah. So that you know, it could have been a ritual. We don't it know. Could have been. It could have wow. been. They just there's so many different culture cultures and and you know religions mm -hmm. and so we don't know. We yep. don't know. But that's what I looked up. And if anybody knows any other anything, anything else, else yeah. you can comment below and just educate us more. Wow. All right. So the last thing I searched on Google was the drug and her reactions. Remember <laughs> <laughs> the drug and her reactions to make sure whatever she got me some herbal stuff to make sure it was okay to take with my medicine. That was the last thing that was on my <laughs> phone. That is so funny. I do it all the time. Oh, I have another one. It says, what is your best Halloween costume ever? I guess mine would be the witch. I don't know. I never really, I never really do Halloween too much. The last couple of years I've been a witch. I think um, two years ago, or maybe it was three years ago, I, the way my face was painted and everything, I thought that was really good. I haven't really dressed up in a long time other than all oh, this, my war paint. <laughs> <laughs> you got your costume on now? Yeah? Is that what yeah, you're trying to tell war paint. <laughs> That's her best costume that she's got um, on now. She um, good. <laughs> uh, I remember when I was little, I dressed up as Punky Brewster. Aw. Yeah. That's wow. about it. I love Punky Brewster. I don't Brewster. remember what I dressed up as a kid. Like, I, I just, I have no clue. My mom used to dress me and my sister up like we were twins or something. But we would have the different color bell bottoms, but we'd still have the same bell bottoms, but in different colors or the same shirt. So I don't know. I guess it would be the witch costume. I don't know. What was I this? Oh, I when me know. and Henriette went and did pictures, the pictures turned out good. I think it was a witch then too. I don't know. But that's, that's, what I, that's my answer and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> <laughs> You're next. Oh my goodness. It's so nice to be able to hang out with Tanya and spend so much time because it's been 
2017 was the last time I seen you, right? Yes, a April or May, the end of May or either beginning of April, something, yeah. or the first of May, I can't remember. I, um, I tried a couple of times on our way back from Maryland to stop, but every time I tried, she was in, she was at the beach, or they were, they were somewhere else vacationing. South it was always in South Carolina. Yeah, I love South Carolina. I live in North Carolina, but I love South Carolina. Yeah, yeah so beautiful. It's so I haven't got to see her since 2017. So I have spent so much time with her. Um, Angie was here the other night. Um, Shirley, we're going to go see Shirley, and Shirley wasn't feeling good, so she didn't get to come over yesterday. And um, but we're going to go see her today. And we're gonna go to dinner again. We're gonna, I don't know, maybe dinner play some and, cards, maybe go out and film the cemetery tonight. Dinner and lunch has been banging, ain't it? I know, right? <laughs> oh my god. We've been eating good. <laughs> we have been eating good. Really good. So that's awesome. But, um, yep, yeah, go ahead. Describe a time when you helped a stranger. Uh, well, that's probably the same answer I gave when I was with Shirley, but, um, I helped this this man. Um, I think he was down by the Dollar Tree, and um, I always went up to him and I said, is, "Is there anything you need?" He looked like he was crying, and then he just looked up at me and he was crying. He said he was hungry, and he, you know, he said that he didn't have a place to live, and um, I didn't have a lot of money. I think I only gave him ten dollars, but um, you know, I, I try to help people. And if they, the sadder the story, the more money I try to give them. But I only I don't carry cash that much anymore. I carry dollars for yard sales, so I don't carry cash very much. And that one, you know, wasn't it wasn't real long ago. But yeah, I guess that would be the time that I helped mm -hmm. somebody. That was just recent. Really? Yeah. It was just when we got oh, here. Yeah, yeah, you told here. me about yeah. that. Just recent. Yeah. Yeah. That a little old cute lady was walking around Publix. And she was looking for her car, and you could see her, re you know, try to hit the button to get her car to beep. And it was right in front of us um, that she was walking to, and it wasn't her car, but her car looked just like that. Mm -hmm. And so she um, bumped into it. She went by another truck that had a sh another stranger in it. He asked if she was okay. And then me and my husband got uh, out of the vehicle because we had to get into go into the store. And we... My husband's a little bit taller than this man, so he sits there and reaches way up in the air, and it finally sits there and honks and beeps, oh, wow. and so we take her over there to her vehicle, and um, while we were talking, she's like, you're not from around here, are you? <laughs> well, she didn't say it like that, but she, I said, no, ma'am. I said, we're from North Carolina. She said, I can tell. Because <laughs> <laughs> Florida people don't help people. I mean, I help people, I guess, because I'm come from Maryland, but Florida people just don't help Florida people. I don't know what it is. But um, you can definitely tell when somebody is sweet and nice to you that they're definitely not from Florida. Or, like, I'm from Florida, but I lived in Maryland for almost 30 years, and I guess I'm, I consider myself from Maryland. But um, you can tell. Mm -hmm. Definitely can tell. Well, everybody's really nice here, though. Yeah. Yeah, they re really are. I told my husband that they were. They just go by and talk to you like everybody knows everybody. But mm -hmm. this is a big city. This is a, quite a big city. Well, to me, it's a small city. Really? Small. To yeah, me, compared to Pinellas, it's real. This is really small. Really, this is more country than oh. Pinellas. But you live like on acreage. Oh yeah, so I you, live in the country. We yeah. live in the boonies now. In if you go dogs. down there and you <laughs> sneeze, you gonna miss us. <laughs> we don't even got a stoplight. <laughs> I can't believe you don't have a stoplight. No, in town. we don't. That we is don't. so crazy. Nope. We, wow, but they, you love it there. Yeah, I love it there. They That's just it. trust us so much. They don't give us a stop by. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay. All but, right. Who is the last person you stalked on social media? That I stalked. We went through this before and I can't remember. I don't really stalk anybody. Mm -hmm. um, you go first. Who'd you stalk? <laughs> I don't stalk anybody. I don't think I Unless it's either. Marie, I you don't stalk Marie. Yeah, I stalk you. <laughs> oh, I'm going to start stalking her, so my answer next time is going to be her. Um, I don't know. I mean, I did go in and kind of stalk in your store. Oh. You, you want to talk about your store? Oh. oh. Tanya has a store on Facebook. It's called um, jewelry, uh, Tanya's Jewelry Box. And I do not make everything in it. I made some things, but most of it is more like wholesale buyer bulk. 
and um, I try to get it at a price where people are able to buy it five dollars less if it's a bit is if it's like a set that comes with bracelet necklace earrings ten dollars that ain't bad at no, all it's no. not bad and then so go to her page tom what the name of your page is tanya's jewelry box that that's the name With, of the facebook page that's the name of the public page and then if you want to join the group it's tanya's jewelry box with a heart at the end of it okay mm -hmm. and so you'll see me up she's on got there. all kinds of cool stuff guys and she sells it cheap you do have to pay your own shipping mm -hmm. and you do have to pay through cash app and paypal uh, cash app paypal and i'm started up with square mm -hmm. oh, okay and but then, um she has a lot of good stuff so go check it out but definitely you. go check it out and what was the question because i don't remember Oh, oh, who we, we stalked? Yeah. Who, who we stalked? I don't know. You said you stalked. I stalked that. I did stalk that page because I was checking out everything you had. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right. So there's so much. Check her stuff out. In it. There is. All right. I got to put my glasses on to see. It says, "Who is the most interesting person you have ever met?" Ooh. Okay. The most interesting person you have ever met. I have a lot of interesting people. Let's think me. of people, not celebrities. Yeah. Cause like I, I met have. Boss Hogg, but he was pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. But let's think of a person, like somebody that we had, like one of our acquaintances. I'm going to think of that. That way, the most interesting person that I ever met. Hmm. Can you think of any person? I think y'all are interesting. <laughs> oh, me? Yeah, I think Jessie's really interesting. Yeah. I like, I like, I don't know. Yeah. She's just so sweet too, and yeah. and um, she's always got great mm -hmm. stories. So I guess I would mm -hmm. say Jessie, but I think you're interesting. I love your page. <laughs> I didn't even know she had the jewelry box. I knew she sold stuff, but I didn't know what I, it was called or anything. I'm like, I'm the jack of all trades. I do a lot I'm of stuff. I'm the jack of all trades yeah, too. Yeah, I do a lot of I mean, stuff. I mean, around the house, yeah. around the yard, I'm, I can build things, I can solve things, I can, I can do things. My son Mason calls me a little hustler. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm. I used to be called. Um, what was that? Not Bob the Builder, but what was that guy that on TV that built things? Tim Allen. Yeah. I used oh to, yeah, yeah. I, I used to be called should. Tim Allen because I could do anything. Um, I don't know. And then the way I drive, I used to be called AJ Foyt. So he must have been a race driver or something. I don't know. Don't ask me. Don't get me to lie. <laughs> but I, I do have like you know my my uncle. I could say I, I I don't know how much I could say, but he is an interesting person. Is he? He's he's worked for. He was he was in the army. He went from the army into. Um, he worked for the White House doing things in the White House. Oh, yeah. Ta he had a lot of yeah. stories to tell you, he did. too. He, he really did. Wow. And then uh, he worked uh, trying to in uh, computers for the government and trying to to keep down the hackers and stuff like that. And there's a lot of stories that he, he can tell you, he but there's some that you can't. He cannot. He absolutely and no nope. yeah because well, it's probably yeah. an oath he took he can't yeah, speak he, about yeah. the white house and stuff. he's he's got some interesting stories now wow. he's been everywhere around the world everywhere that's that's really so, cool though. yeah that's he's really very cool. interesting i like to hear his stories yeah all right so if okay i can't see it if someone was to look under your bed what would they find not no dust. I cleaned under my bed. It was dust before. I would they would find four totes with pictures, a bunch of shoes stuffed up under there, and no dust. Hopefully, <laughs> I just went. You'll see a couple of Christmas paper wrappings. Oh, I used, to, I used to throw them yeah, under my bed. The rolls. Yeah. yeah, you'll see that. And um, dang, what else? That's is all you got under your bed. No, no, well, I do have, have no, I got a little tote, I got a couple of totes that have like uh, jewelry that I put in there for like uh, that, that is seasonal jewelry. So oh, I, I need to, okay. you know, that I put out last year and then, you know, yeah. nobody bought yet. And then I just, I'll put it back this, this year. year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got that and 
You know, I might have some cat hair up underneath there. <laughs> I have all kinds of all kinds of hair and and cobwebs uh -huh. and everything was under. It was awful. Yeah. I flipped the whole mattress and the whole box springs off and took the vacuum before I moved anything. Then I wiped everything down. Um, and that was recently. I might need to do that. <laughs> it's There's cat story. hair. Yeah. My hair, even my hair, because it falls out in the brush or the comb. Yeah. I don't use a brush. I, I use one of them big tooth yeah. combs, but. My hair's probably it up falls out. there too. It was bad. <laughs> it was, was really real bad. Thick and it Dang. Sheds. Yep. yep. All right, your turn. Okay. Um, what teacher had the greatest impact on you? I don't remember my teachers. Do you remember your teachers? Uh, I remember one teacher. Um, whenever we lived in, uh, it was either Nuremberg, Germany, or Frankfurt, Germany. You lived in Germany. Mm -hmm. Well, wow. my, my stepfather was in the military. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And his name was Mr. Gleason. Oh. And he was a very interesting man, too. But he really interacted with us kids in a fun way where he taught us not just on the board, but he showed us. It was more like science and stuff like that. Oh, He'd done wow. games to make us... Like if we were reading or whatever, he taught us through like music or something else. And, oh, that's and that really, was really cool. Nice. He was a yeah. good teacher. I don't even know if, wow. if he's still there, if he's still alive. That's interesting because I think at the time, I was probably in like second or third grade. So he oh, was, so yeah. you remembered real far yeah, back with your yeah. teacher's names. I remember I don't him. remember him. He I remember us. my Sunday school teacher taught me a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. but I don't really remember her name or anything. I think he told me our uh, our first horror story. <laughs> oh wow! It was about um, it was a it was about a castle in Germany where one uh, somebody uh, I don't remember the whole story, but you know it was where somebody did something wrong, like a thief or something like that. And so I think that he stole some food or whatever, and he was bricked up. And he bricked was, up? Yep, starved to death, bricked up. Oh. Behind walls. Oh my gosh. That was my first horror story. <laughs> so he's still there? I don't know. I, 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 I'm probably like second or third grade. Is that, what, is that how they torture people in, I, in it Germany? Must have been. I don't know. Crazy Tanya? I don't know. Back in the day, they did a lot of crazy stuff. Look what they did to people that they thought was witches. I know. So, so you know. In Germany, do they. If you steal food, you get bricked up behind a wall or in a box or something. I don't no, not now, not now, back in the day, day. Yeah, probably that's crazy in the though. 1800s. I mean, that guy was probably just hungry. He might have been trying to feed a family, There's and then some... they bricked him in a bricked him up and let him starve to I death. Don't know. Can I you don't imagine know. how the torture oh, of yeah. just starving to death? I mean, if they sealed you, it good, he yeah. suffocated. But God, that's awful. I don't know. Oh my gosh. What was our question? That was uh, <laughs> what teacher had the greatest impact? Oh, that was on you? that was okay. And you said you couldn't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. Let's see. Uh, what is one thing you wish you could unsee? I wish I could unsee Mike Good dead. Mm. When I had to go and identify him, I I know that's the same answer I gave with Shirley, but I that's, I wish I could unsee that. Mm. I, I really. You wish um, you could unsee. I don't have anything. Nothing. Even whenever I see people dead, it just it don't bother me because I'm. Mm -hmm. They're probably in a better place. Well, than I mean, if you see them in the coffin, it's one thing, but when you have to I, go identify I, them on the. Well, I understand that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, but you know, I've worked in the um, ner you know, the retirement center, and I've seen people pass oh. away, and I've had to clean them up or something like yeah. that. So something like that. You know, I can understand what yeah. you're talking about. Yeah, but right now, um, I haven't really, I couldn't Wish really could unsee. Unsee, yeah. You know, I really ain't even, I even seen pictures of people that have been dead. It doesn't bother me, you no. know, really, yeah. Because wow. whenever I was younger, I wanted to be one of the people. I a mortician? Remember. Yeah. I know. I wouldn't even mind being a mortician. I just think it was because somebody we loved and just, I don't know. I mean, it's really affected me, and like, I, and I didn't realize how bad it affected me until I started therapy mm -hmm. and started talking about all the stuff that's happened, mm -hmm. and, and yeah, it bothers me. 
woman. Well, I think it bothers you because he was such a good man. He was a very he was good, a good man. man. I'm, yes. I'm glad I was able to meet him. I am too. He was he really was, a good man. Yeah. All right, so what is one of your all-time favorite bands? Bands. Oh. I like Alabama. I like a lot of them. All time like favorite. Yeah. I like Alabama. Um, singers. I like Michael Jackson. I like my disco music <laughs> back in the day. I was a disco girl. I can't remember the disco. You put disco me on the duck. spot, and I cannot remember what their <laughs> name is. It's what are they saying? Counting Dragons. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm more. I love country, but everything that Counting Dragons put out is pretty good. Okay, I have to go listen good. to them because I don't even know who they are. You don't? No. Uh, what do they sing? Um, more like a a kind of I I don't know. I'll have what to they, look them up. You guys look them up. See if you guys like, like it. That. I, I like anything with a beat. I like to I like to dance. Yeah. Well, if I would I dance just, every day, I would get skinny. Me too. <laughs> just me go too. dancing around the house. Oh, and, you know, let's do the twist. <laughs> get that hourglass. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. We already got it started. It's just a little bit thick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what swear word or phrase are you caught saying the most? I probably sit there and drop that F bomb. Me too. A lot. Me too. I, I think yeah, uh, yeah. Yep, so we're both it's we're both the F bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop that. It's not it's not real bad, but yeah. If you could have any animal for a pet, what would it be? I don't want any pets. <laughs> I got so many in my house I don't want any. What would it be? Any animal. Um maybe a uh maybe a horse. A horse? I used to love horseback mm -hmm. riding. I would have to have a trained horse. <laughs> but you know what it would be cool to have is a zebra. Can you ride a zebra? Yeah, you can. And like, is he like a horse? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe a zebra. People have some road, road zebras. And who do you want? A miniature donkey. Oh, I like yeah. your donkeys. Yeah. <laughs> you still have your donkeys? No, I don't have donkeys. Wait a minute. I have who goats. has donkeys? Maybe it's Omar's donkey. Goats. Oh, I like I have goats. goats. It's yeah. goats. It's not I a donkey. Have, I have Clyde. It's a goat. I have Clyde, so you still have Sophie, all them. yeah, yeah uh, Clyde, I like Sophie, it. and then we have one that's called Hartland Shirley. <laughs> oh, no, did Shirley you name was, it after Shirley? It was, her name is Shirley Hartland. That's it. Is that it's Shirley Hartland, and then we just call her Hartland. Did you name it after Shirley? Yes, because she kept on asking me what the, I'm going to name the, that. Oh, that. she kept on and kept on and kept on and never named it, never named it. Finally, I love the name Hartland, but I was said I'm going to put Shirley in front of it. Yeah, <laughs> did she like that? Her, Shirley yeah. Hartland. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. Okay. What is something you accidentally said that you wish you could take back? Oh, God. There's a lot of that. Yeah. I think we're all guilty. Yeah. Of that. We're human. Yes, we're we human, are. We're human, so. This, I don't know. I can't think of anything offhand that I accidentally said. I don't know. I know what I said when I was with Shirley, but I don't think, I don't know. I accidentally said that I wish I could take back. You want to skip that one? Well, yeah, because that's a mo kind of emotional. That's a yeah. deep one. That, All right, you we're going to skip that one, guys. <laughs> what is one thing you wish you were better at? Mm. Wish I was better at making money. Making money. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Making money. Uh, <laughs> uh, Me too. I don't I don't know. Sometimes I think every mother feels this way, but because I, I don't know, I know I'm a good mom, but I, I wish I was maybe a little bit better. I You're guess. a really good mom. Yeah, I, I, but I. But you doubt in yourself a little bit. Every mother does. Yeah, I guess every so. Every mother doubt. They look back and say, "I wish I did this or that," especially yeah. when they get older. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Maybe they. If I could you know, go back, I would have changed this that's or whatever. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Yep. I wish I did this, or wish, and then you wish, wish, won't, could, whatever, back, you, you can't change the past. Yeah, you can't. But, I, I mean, I think, I, I think I did a good, I, I know, you know. You did I, a good job. I, I know kids. I did it, and then, you know, I've got four more I'm raising. Tanya has seven, seven kids. Seven, seven kids. kids. Mm -hmm. 
and a couple of them are over 18. Yeah, they're yeah. they're grown and out and but, but uh, from eight. So so how old is China? She's, she's oldest, 24. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so China and then how old's the youngest? She's four. So 24, 20 four. years apart. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? From from the oldest to the youngest is 20 years apart. Yeah. I wish I had I had a lot more kids. I really do. So one thing I wish I was better at maybe um, decluttering in my house. <laughs> I'll try to change that one. <laughs> Declutter in the house because my house is cluttered. There's just piles of shit everywhere. She has a nice house. She's, <laughs> she's got a lived-in house. That's yeah, it. it's definitely lived it's in. It's lived in. All right. So what is a funny story your family likes to brag about, bring up about you? About me? A funny story that your family likes to bring up about you. Mm. Danny used Danny Danny likes to make fun of the songs, my disco music. And he he likes to like, you know, just like pick on the disco duck and pick on the um just um there was a there was one song that I used to listen to when Doves Cry by Prince. And and when I would play it, he would come around the corner. And do you guys remember when the I guess when when he when he sounded like he was going Wah! That they they pick on me about that because they would come around the corner and they would do that. So that's my story. Hello. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Did you win us lots of money? No. Oh no. I left Florida a lot of money. Oh shoot. <laughs> All right. One funny story your family likes to bring up about you. I don't know. I I, I had it on the video, but I I took it off. Oh, you had the funny story? I had the, I did, and I had it for the longest time, and the kids were in it. We were trying new candy from China, and I was sitting there. The next thing you know, I was on the ground because the whole, the chair just, oh, one no. leg. It was one of the plastic legs, the ones that you get from, like, the Dollar General that ain't worth the yeah. crap. I went to lean up like that, and the whole chair broke. So they, and I they went talk up about it all the time? I went up underneath that day, oh, and I said, no. what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god. And you can gosh. see in slow motion my face going. <laughs> oh, did you and make they, it slow motion? No, just... they did. <laughs> oh no. That is crazy. All just, right. I just laughed for hours when I just sat there. I can't believe my kids did me like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Um, That's crazy. All right, we'll do one more. And then we're going to dinner. <laughs> okay. Fess up. What is your bad habit? Oh, my bad habit of buying too many plants. <laughs> I have so many plants. That's a bad habit. I need to stop. Is that a bad habit? No. I don't an, That's smoke. an addiction. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't really have any bad habits. Guys, it's, it's going to be August 19th soon, and I quit smoking four years ago. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I'm proud of me for quitting smoking. Uh, what's your bad habit? Uh, I don't know. Let's ask my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, what's, what's the bad habit? <laughs> what's my bad habit? Honey. Hey, don't mind. You don't Come want on, to tell. She can't think of one. She don't have no bad habits. She does. <laughs> oh, your phone's ringing. Oh, no, and him, he's going to be like picking her nose or something like that. Can you pick your nose? Why? Yeah, all the time. For real? <laughs> you are crazy. <laughs> so you don't have um, my, a bad habit. Yeah, I I spend I yeah, I probably um I don't know. My bad habit is picking up stray animals and bringing them. Oh home. no. Yes, that's my bad habit. He don't like it either. Yeah. And then, then what happens is then I have to fi pick them up and then find them a home. Wow. And then I put my my bad habit on somebody else. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have had so much fun sitting here with Tanya. This was fun. Just um, here, let's put these together in case yeah. we decide to do some more. Okay. He's um, on the bottom. Okay. Um, Get Angie. Be more. sure to check out her channel. <laughs> I love you guys, and we will see you soon. Peace, guys. Bye. Welcome to Marie's Life Vlogs. I am Tanya. I am here to tell our
past to make you laugh for you to see in the present. <laughs> That's what you're going to say. Remember all that. Oh, oh I got to say that. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> it's going to have to be good enough. Oh, you weren't recording it? I was trying to fix it. We're crooked. Oh, yeah, but I thought you... <laughs> I was recording it, but you're going to say that. I got to say it again? You got to say it again. What? It's like... Oh, okay. that's bad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Tanya. Why is it doing that? I don't know.